Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture, and today we're going over Kylie's 15th album called Disco. And we're not just going over just Disco, we're going over the Disco Deluxe as well, because I, myself, if you haven't noticed yet, am a huge Kylie fan. I love her. Like, love, love her. Like, if I wasn't, if standing was so to wasn't so toxic, I would pretty much stand Kylie. Um... I have followed her, I grew up pretty much with Kylie, I actually, she, I listened to pretty, I listened to, I heard her songs on the radio, and I always listened to her, and I knew who she was, because everybody else was, was obsessed with it when I was growing, as I was growing up, and I felt like I officially got into her as an official fan into, in 2000, 2000, uh, when Light Years came out, and I was like, oh, I'm actually going to stop myself, I'm going to stop and getting to it, so I did, I was able to do it, and it, and I felt like that was the opening completely, and then what sealed it in officially was Fever, I, still my favorite album, I love Fever, Fever really changed, it, I think it was a mix between, like, I was like, I'm officially a fan that moment, and I actually did like it, and and I know that's also where people, all mainstream people, kind of like the outer world of Australia, also got into her side from the UK. But it's one of those. It's so. But it was also for me as I was growing up. That was I was like eleven at that time. So that time I was really into like I was able to like appreciate music. I feel like I feel like around that time, a normal people like kids kind of absorb and realize this is music this is something that i actually like you know where before you're like just like you just hear everything that your mom was listening to or whatever um or whatever's on the radio you didn't really have a you didn't really pull into like what you actually was something for you so i really i am a huge fan of her i love pretty much all the albums i know even i love i even love impossible princess uh, i think it's amazing i think that it's different. It's very different. But because it's different, I like it. I just... And this... Her whole... Kylie has always reinvented, her, reinvented herself in different ways, by, but still sticking to herself. Like, she's giving you different sounds and maybe different production here and there, but it still sounds like a Kylie song. And I love that. And I feel like... As much as we talk about Madonna being somebody that's always been like the the queen of pop, and she's so inventive and changing things, it's like I mean Kylie did the same thing. They're pretty much around the same age. I think that Madonna may be older, but it's she's also she's been called the, like Kylie's been called the princess of pop, but she's the queen of pop to me. And she and I think there's not there's no such thing as one queen. I think they can have two queens. So there is so, and of course. <laughs> My own queen is Lady Gaga for American Direction, but Madonna is, is iconic, of course. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm excited. I, this album is actually really nice. I noticed that a lot of disco has been a touch, kind of like, in the minds of pop lately. Like, you've had uh, Jessie Ware, which she completely, um, her whole album is kind of disco in, for, like, in a way. And I felt like that was going that way. I felt like another person did disco. I mean, somebody else did disco and pop. Anyway, so disco... Oh, no. Uh, Dua Lipa, duh. Dua Lipa tried to, kind of did a little bit of, like, like disco in a way. But not entirely going into it. It's same with... Uh, same with... Um, where I feel like she went in... Like, she went into it, but she still had a piece of her own little thing to it. But it wasn't really disco, disco. And I felt like Kylie is like, oh, so we like disco. Okay, well, you you should know that I have been sent like hinting out disco songs in different in different of my albums. Like X has one, Fever has one, Golden even has a little bit of one, even with her country th sound. Um, I think even Kiss Me Once. Uh, no, 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 that's not. And I got the death No, that's not that's, uh, no disco in that one. But Aphrodite definitely has it too. And it's just like it's one of those kind of things. Just like she's always hinted, she always had a thing for it. Due to the fact that she all she is a '70s kid, like she grew up in the '70s. So of course she's right in the smack, smack middle of it, where her radio sound of where she's just listening to like parents or her parents or the radio is was pretty much disco heavy. So she knows, if anybody knows what disco is, she knows what disco is.
So, uh, I'm so excited, and it definitely shows in this album. I had no trouble liking a lot of the songs. I had some trouble liking some of the songs because they did, I think the downside, I think I might be coming to terms with the idea that um, some disco is repetitive, and some disco goes on for a while, and you're like, there's no change in production, there's no, it kind of stays this way, but I think the idea of disco is to dance all night long to the same, like, to that same beat is going on a little longer, and you're just supposed to just feel it, you're supposed to just dance, 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 to, to the whole thing, like, there's no need for a switch up, there's no need for a slow down or anything, like, there's not, what's not in a disco style, and I think that's what Kylie is showing in this, is I think some of the songs don't feel, don't really make me feel that way, like, that it feels a little harder that way for me personally, so, like, Miss a Thing, um, Unstoppable, what was the other one? Um, Hey Lonely and Spotlight, I felt like those ones were just, oh, and Monday Blues, I felt like, I like the songs ideally, but I felt like some of the, it just, it just, I felt like I was kind of losing my energy over it after a a while of a song, but then, but I felt like that didn't stop the other songs for definitely taking you there. Like Magic, what a great way to start off an album. Like Magic is, uh, it's it's complete Kylie song. It's 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 you would. This is exactly what she would and she did. This is exactly what she would do. If you're thinking like Disco Kylie, this is exactly what I thought would come out of this album, and it did. I love it. I love this one. I love um, Real Groove. I think that's so catchy. Um, I, I love no, no, Supernova, I think that one's even, is it like a little fast kind of like disco, which I really, really love. I love the whole, um, uh, shining like a supernova, brightest of the stars, um, from another galaxy like Jupiter and Mars. Like, I love that. Love. It, it just, it's, it sounds very X, actually. It sounds very, very X of her last so or song, that, or album that came out in 2007. Sounds exactly like that, where she kind of, like, did that kind of, like, sing-talk direction, and it just, I love it. Especially, like, in, I think, speaker bot, or speak, it's bang on your speakerphone. Fun? Speaker, speakerphone? Yes, I think it's speakerphone. Um, and then, uh, another one, the lead song, single to this album, Say Something, took me a while to get to. I hated, hated the chorus, because I couldn't tell where it was coming in or where it was going. I couldn't tell... Like, by the, like, I looked at the lyrics, and I was like, oh, so this is the chorus. And I was like, but it doesn't feel like the chorus. Like, so, I just think about you, oh, 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 oh. Like, that part into, S -s 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 say something, say something. And right there, that's the chorus. That is the chorus, right there. That's the chorus. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I like where it's going, but then when you go... Just to say something, say something, tell me how you're feeling, done. Da -da 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 -da. And I was like, what just happened? <laughs> we're, like, I feel like, I feel like we're missing half of, I feel like the edit, I feel like this got like a weird skip. And like, when you get those CDs where it skips to the next thing, you're like, oh, that's not right, something's wrong with the CD. And that's what I felt like for a minute, I was like, we're missing some more chorus, I felt like. And then even in the other parts where she's like, she still did that, and then she went from where I thought was going to go longer in a second half of the time. So it always happens when in songs sometimes when you go when they have short choruses. The first after the first verse, there's a short chorus if they're doing a short chorus, and then after the second verse, then it goes into a and then it takes that it takes that chorus either repeats it twice um, for the second time or it'll or they'll say that piece and extend it a little more to give a little longer chorus. I felt like she was doing that, she was heading that direction, and it felt like it was heading that direction with the production getting like harder and harder, and then she just drops and just like, cause love is love, it never ends. Like, I was like, yes, I love that, but it's just like where there's something missing, there's something, I can't stretch this laughy, this like, I can't stretch, <laughs> laughy tap, that's exactly what I was gonna say, it sounds stupid. I was gonna, like, there's no way to, it needs to stretch further, but it feels like it can't go any further than where it is, and it's just, it kills me. But, unfortunately, I do like the song, and then over this time, the song grew on me, and cor including the acoustic version. The acoustic version is way better, and I love the acoustic version, it's so nice. Um, yeah, so I, I do like that, I do like it now, but it took me a while to get to, get, to really get on board with it. Uh, last dance, a uh, last chance, love it. 
the last chance. Da, 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 like I love it so fast. It's very fast paced disco, and I can feel, I can hear people kind of just do it and everything. Like I can, I can totally see it. Um, where did this? Where did the DJ go? Super catchy. I is one of my favorites. I it's one of my favorite songs. I will tell you my favorite song. I think it's dance, dance floor, dance floor, darling. It's so cute. It's so kind of like. I don't know, it's just very, it's just very strict, it's very, like, adorable Kylie in the direction, and just like, uh, I don't know, I don't, it just, it hit me in that Kylie feels where I usually, like, there's always a song that hits me hard emotionally in each album, so, um, Kiss Me Once on the title, um, Kiss Me Once that came out to its 14 hit me hard in that one, um, Your Love hit me hard in Fever, and, like, just, I believe, well, I, I still don't remember where I believe fits, because I felt like I, I came across it when it was on a Greatest Hits. Um, anyway, so it's kind of like that. So I felt like Dancing Dar Dance Floor Darling definitely hit hit me in that way. I was like, oh, But it wasn't just that one. The next one that actually hit me hard, too, was Celebrate You, which is the last official part of the actual, of the first, of the album without the deluxe. Um, which is great. Just this right here would easily win for me. I love it. And Celebrate You, I felt like when she says, Mary, Mary, you aren't ordinary. I felt like in history, in history, and due to the fact that she's in this, she's taking in the 70s feel, I'm assuming due to the fact in history, um, in queer culture, we used to call each other Mary or Hey Mary or, um, she, she's the, um, of uh, friends friends of Judy kind of thing like that like it's always in that direction and it used to be as used to be a thing we would say so I think I always I was feeling and maybe I'll just take it for myself and if it's not that um that it is about our her queer fans is like you're not ordinary you're amazing blah 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 I'm celebrating you everything I like about myself is better with you screaming it to the world like what the hell I celebrate you I think it's just, I think it's a fan thing. Like, I would be no, nowhere without my, I wouldn't be anywhere without my fans. I thank you. And I also see you, queer fans. Thank you. I see you sticking with me throughout the whole time. I love it. Um, so that is a, that is a, the actual album without the deluxe. With the deluxe, there's only two songs I took from it was Fine Wine. I love Fine Wine with the jump into my ride. Beep, beep. Like, I love it. Love it. And I love, uh, So You Love Someone, I think it's so cute, especially when she says, cause it, cause I make it, cause I'm a better dancer with you, with the you going really high, not even gonna try it. Um, but yeah, I really do. I'm so happy I like it. I'm so happy I like it, cause Golden, Golden was rough. Golden was a little rough. Like, I wasn't really feeling the whole country direction due to the fact that also Joanne, or, uh, Lady Gaga kicked off it with Joanne, and everybody else kind of followed suit. But this is so nice. I love it. I completely, and I know this comes off of me being biased, but I'm really going, I'm trying my best to be unbiased as, as much as I can. Oh, also love it wasn't really for me. I didn't really care for love it. Um, but it might grow on me later on. Maybe if I hear it in a club. I feel like that one will grow on me in a club for sure. So yeah, so I give this album a... Uh, they're, it's like, they're being biased, but I'm not. I swear I'm not. I, this is really, this is a really good album. I give it 10 out of 10. I really do. I think it's so nice. I'm so glad that she's back on her shit. Like, she's back on her shit. And this is, I'm so happy for her. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what your favorite songs were. Um, if you didn't like it, tell me why. I would love to see what you thought in your, in your eyes. And also, other Kylie fans, please let me know. Um, pretty much it. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like it if you like it, and I'll see you in the rest in the next video.